Hi, it's Adrian, and how are you doing today? So, um, I do have a makeup look on right now, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at this makeup look and then do another one. Um, I found some Loxy, um, I think that's how you pronounce it, L O O X I. Um, I got some of their Aurora. Um, shimmers which are actually multi-chromes and I have them on the eyes and I wanted to go ahead and play with um, a couple more colors and probably do a black base because that makes these kind of shadows really pop. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I thought I'd get started with what I have on. Have had this makeup on for a couple of hours. And I have the Superstay um, Maybelline. It's Superstay C plus 24 hour skin tint. I have mine in 102. And then I do also have the Glow Oil by Super Goop on. And this one has an SPF 50 in it. And um, also the Pretty Fresh Concealer by ColourPop. I did go ahead and use some of the Berry Radiant as far as blush. And then since these shadows are so shiny, and they really are, um, I went ahead and got out the Chiffon by ColourPop, and this is actually a Super Shock Cheek, and it has a lot of, um, well, it changes color, which is, you know, what these multi crumbs do. So I thought that it looked pretty cool. It sort of has a peach to a pink kind of look to it and I thought that since it's kind of shifty and the um, eyeshadows are a little bit shifty that they probably would look good together and I think they did. Um, I also have the Physicians Formula Better Glow On and Translucent. This is a baked formula and um, that's what I have on for my setting powder. This is the second one that I purchased. I went through my first one and these just really have, um, actually they have a lot of green in them. So if you have a lot of red that you're wanting to cover up, uh, this might be a really good powder for you. And then I also have the Thick and Wow by um, Essence on. And this is in the caramelized, um, yeah, caramelized blonde. And then as far as the lips, I did go ahead and use a lip pencil. And that one's from ColourPop. This one is in Dazed, and I did go ahead and put a lip oil on top of that, and that's one of the new lip oils by e.l.f., so yeah, that's how that looked. And as far as the way that the eye looked, um, here it is, and again, that's without a base. I mean, I have concealer on. I always use concealer under eyeshadow but I don't have any actual base colors on. And then um, as far as what I have from Loxy, I have uh, this Red Hot, and that's actually in the outer corner there. And uh, then as far as what I did on the inner corner, uh, this shade is Jaded. It came a little bit, yeah, it wasn't pressed into the pan the best. I repressed it and I'm glad I did because it's a really pretty shimmer. It has green to a gold. And then right under the brow I went ahead and put this splash shade on. It's looking gray. When I look at it, it looks turquoise uh, to green and then it's coming off kind of gray here. So uh, that's what I have on. I did go ahead and use an Emright, um eyeliner as well on here. And again, this is how it looks without a base. And what I want to do is go ahead and take this off and come back uh, with a black base and do some of these really pretty shimmers with a black base underneath them. So I'll go and do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and um, I did go ahead and use the black base. This one's from Profusion, and it's a black eyeshadow base. I actually used um, my uh, concealer, which is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh, and then I went ahead and put this on top of it so that I would have a nice base. Um, I'm going to put a little bit on my hand and blend it out so you can see what it looks like. But it comes out of the tube 
basically looking like that. Um, you don't need very much of this. In fact, you don't need a completely black base. You can just, using this and going ahead and getting it to a gray will go ahead and give you enough of a base to go ahead and put these shadows on top of. Um, so that's the way that it looks when it's blended out is sort of like that and here let's put a little bit more on than that but yeah you don't have to go with a you don't have to build it up to being um, completely black you can definitely go gray like even this way when I'm it's not going to you know you can still see my skin through it and it doesn't need to be any more built up than this in fact this is probably going to be just fine and it will dry down in just a couple minutes and so yeah i may have some fun trying to get that off but um that's really all that you need to do and now i've got it all over everywhere all over again um you just need a really small amount because if you're like me you're going to end up getting much more of it than you need onto your eyes and all over your hands and and um, yeah, it does kind of go ahead and stain. So as far as what I did on the eye, um, let's see. I went ahead and took this shade from Loxy, which is called Splash. And this is the one that it, um, it looks green and turquoise to me, but on the screen here, it's kind of coming off gray. And that's what I went ahead and put on the lid here. Um, I didn't use any of the black on the bottom uh, down here, but I did go ahead and use Blue Lagoon um, as my, yeah, eyeliner on the bottom there. And then as far as what I used, uh, yeah, and I took it all the way up to the top, so I filled in the all the real estate there. And I went ahead and used this one, which is Feels, and this one is a purple. And so, uh, yeah, that's what I went ahead and did. And when you put these sort of shades over a black base, it's supposed to make them a lot more vibrant. And I also did go ahead and use the Milani Make a Dewy as far as the setting spray, and I did spray that on my eyes as well to make sure that I could, you know, activate whatever I could here, this way that it kind of turned out. And let's see, can we do both here? Yeah. So uh, the splash color did come off as a real green. Yeah, it came off as green. So, um, but it's a different green. It's more of a metallic green. And so that's the only shade that I wasn't quite sure how it would show up. Uh, but the other shade, the feels, definitely showed up as a purple. Uh, with silver in it and then again I did go ahead and use the blue lagoon on the bottom and I think it turned out really cute um, you might want to well actually what I might do is go ahead and take it down a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back in just one second here okay so um, I did go ahead and I had taken the color all the way up to the brow bone and so I went ahead and took a whole bunch of it off uh, more of an everyday sort of feeling to it did. so here it is a little bit toned down not really but um, I did go ahead and take it all off about a quarter of an inch off the way around and so here's what we have uh, again, more wearable. I mean, I still have the black base underneath. The, the black base is making uh, these multi-chromes a lot more vibrant and a lot more, well, you can just see them a lot better. Uh, the color is coming out rather than just um, than just a sparkle. And that's what I was running into uh, when I, you know, had my concealer as my only base was that you would see a lot of the glitter, but you wouldn't necessarily see all of the different multi-chrome and all of the different colors in there. 
so um, going ahead and using a black base is definitely a good way to go ahead and um, make a multi a multi chrome go ahead and pop and so yeah I would definitely suggest going ahead and doing that um, like I said this one's from profusion it actually came in a kit um, but you can go and find lots of eyeshadow bases or you could even use a cream black eyeshadow as a base as well so um, this way that the look turned out and I think it kind of came out kind of fun and um, yeah, I did go ahead and reapply the uh, chiffon to the cheeks, so that's what I have on there. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more of the berry. Yeah. So, yeah, that is kind of dark and scary, isn't it? So. So that is actually doing a lot of color, and I wasn't expecting it to do that much color, but I put a lot on. So um, this is Elf's Halo Glow in uh, Berry Radiant, and then uh, combining with the Chiffon by ColourPop. So that's what's on the cheeks now, and coming out off as a very berry kind of look here. But then again, it kind of it's high shine and this is high shine so you're getting a lot of high shine in this look but I think it's kind of fun and I'm really liking these uh, Loxy eyeshadows um, they're available on the Loxy uh, website and that's L-O-O-X-I and uh, they're running for between about three and four dollars I think right now they're having a sale and so they're some of them are as low as two dollars and fifty cents um, they just they give you a whole multi chrome kind of look and it's just a lot of fun to play with and it's very much a different kind of look um, especially adding the black base on the eyeshadow there and uh, for some of us who've been wearing makeup and we've worn a lot of the same colors over and over and over uh, these multi-chromes and the holographic shadows are just giving us a whole new way to wear makeup and to experiment and to find out you know what works and what doesn't and all that neat stuff so uh, this is my very colorful very shiny look and i hope that you've liked it and so i'll see you later bye